Let's see why the formula of time relativity is t equals to t naught divided by 1 minus v squared divided by c squared. Imagine you are on a UFO flying very quickly and you just have captured a single photon inside two mirrors. According to you, the photon is jumping up and down. But your friends are a bit confused because according to her, the photon is not jumping up and down. It's more like going in a zigzag pattern. Now if you determine the distance between two mirror as A is and distance traveled by the UFO as VT, then you will get that much length traveled by the photon. Because light speed is same at every part of the universe, we can write this equation or flip the C from left side to right side. And now we can flip the whole equation to this t equals to a divided by root over c square minus v square. Now let's divide the both part of right side by light speed. We know that the distance between two mirror is a. Then a divided by light speed must be time according to u or t naught. Substitute the a divided by c with t naught, and wow, you got the formula of time relativity, which took Einstein eight years. And one last thing. Subscribe.